All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a break from building this bunkhouse, and we're gonna head down south to the Kenai Peninsula, and we're gonna go dip netting for Alaskan sockeye salmon. special treat in store for you guys. My wife has a cabin down on the Kenai. It's an old log cabin that was built in the 70s by her godfather. That's where we're gonna be staying. And if we're lucky, maybe she'll do a little tour for us and show the camera, but we'll see how she's feeling. So uh, let's go get some fish. Right now it's like 11 o'clock at night and the sun is just shining bright. It's the land of the midnight sun, almost to the cabin. Oh, hi, buddy. I'm here. Did you miss me? All right, good morning, y'all. It's like 6 a.m. Uh, high tide this morning is going to be at 9 a.m. And so being on the river fishing by about seven, about two hours before high tide is a pretty good bet. We're going to go head down to the river and start fishing. my grandpa's hat on for good luck and for keeping the seagull poop off. Good. Excited. So you've got to clip the fins before they go in the bucket to mark that you counted for them and that you can't sell them commercially then. Not bad so far. What is that, five? Yep. Pretty good morning tide. And it's only picking up. Back in the water. Nice. So we'll keep 
stacking these up until the fishing slows down and then we'll clean them and all that. Norm wants to help. He keeps getting blood all over his face. <laughs> well, he's getting down and dirty. Full day's work of cleaning already. I think I had two in there. Yeah. Might be time for a cleaning break. I got two full coolers. So I better I get... Did, I already did one cleaning. That was smart. Yeah, Take out your laundry once in a while. A bunch, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we probably caught uh, probably close to 20 fish on that uh, last tide, which is really, really good. But now we gotta get these all gutted and petted. So I just cut from the bottom up and you leave a little bit of skin right here so you have something to hook your finger to later so you can wash them and carry them around. Cut the head off. That. This one's got eggs. A lot of people keep these and eat them or make bait out of them, but I don't. All right, so now, like I said, I've got this little hook here that I can put my finger on and hold on to the fish and go wash it off. And I'm just gonna put the fish in there and then I pack the belly with a little bit of ice. So that way, this thing's getting cold right away. Just like that. Absolutely gangbusters, awesome fishing. And uh, we got 24 fish. 24 Alaskan sockeyes. The limit for us is 35, so we can get 25 per household and then an extra 10 per family member. So there's two of us in a household. So 35. And uh, we just have to mark down the 24 that we caught and then maybe come back tonight and try to get the other 10. Uh, we'll see, but anyway, I'm soaked covered in slime and sand and fish guts, but we're doing good. Yeah, so anyway, the guts are out, the heads are off, and uh, we've got them sitting on ice. So now we can um, take them back and flay them and vacuum pack them. I'm exhausted and very hungry, so.
What's up guys, we're back. Today I got uh, Mr. Forrest Wilson joining me. You guys know him. Came down for the day to do some dip netting. This is day two of dip netting. And uh, yesterday I got 24 fish, and so I've got 11 more I can get on my permit, and he can get 35 on his permit. So we got some work to do. All right, well Forrest literally had his net in the water for about three seconds and caught just a hog. That's a good luck sign for the day. Let's see it, look at that. What a nice one. Forrest is absolutely killing it right now. He's caught nine, ten fish already. This is number ten. Number ten. We've been fishing for like an hour. It's about an hour. <laughs> I was so busy fishing yesterday, I didn't get a chance to do much video. Wow, look at that. This is the biggest sock I've ever caught was this last one. Look at the size of this. This is the mouth of the river, so it seems like we're in the ocean, but really the river's just right there. So this is where the fish kind of funnel in and stage for running up the river. This river gets like millions and millions of sockeye returning every year, so plenty for everybody. And then I've been doing pretty good too, but not as good as Forrest. He's catching fish as soon as he puts his net in the water every time. So fish gods are smiling on Forrest today for sure. 33, 33, or 34 or 32. It's not the limit, it's just under. A couple hundred pounds of fish each. So now we have to clean all of these fish. So let's get to work. I go in, get yeah. one, my yeah. son would pull it up, and then I'd go back in, get another one. That's I got right. like six in 15 minutes. I knew you would. Yeah. Gosh, <laughs> a little bio. Yeah. Yes. Well, you keep Amen. it up. Amen. Yeah. Multiply the loaves and the fishes. No. That's, the, <laughs> that's right. Good job. It's a whole lot of fish. I'm super thankful for being able to take home a couple hundred pounds of fresh Alaskan sockeye, that's for sure. And it's not something that you get to do in any other state and probably very few places in the world that have anything remotely close to this. So it's pretty special. It's one of the best parts about living in Alaska for sure. It's super, uh, super thankful for all the salmon and it's gonna provide a lot of good food. next year. All right guys, we are back and uh, we're here with my friend Dennis. You guys might remember him from some of my uh, winter videos out snow machining and uh, he agreed to help me process a bunch of this fish today. So he's got a vacuum packer and uh, I'm filleting and then we're keeping all the belly meat here in a pile to put all that in the smoker probably tomorrow back out of the cabin. Anyway, I'm just doing a layover here to do some playing and 
get these fish all cleaned up. So basically I just start back here at the tail and I make an incision until I feel the spine bone with the knife and then I stop and then run it along the spine. And just like anything, the trick is having a really sharp knife. And I think I got pretty lucky on this one for the camera and just did a pretty good job. Let's take a look. Yeah, so. Oh, sweet. Man, that looks good. <laughs> this strip here, this is the belly meat. And like I said, we'll keep this in a separate pile for the smoker. A whole pile of these already, wow. Alright, back home after an epic week of fishing and now is my favorite part of the whole thing where I eat one of the fish totally fresh, unfrozen, right off the bone. And I'm going to show you guys one of my absolute favorite salmon recipes. Alright, so you see these tiny little pin bones sticking out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tweezers, get a hold of it, and pull them out like that. And they pop right out. And it's not hard, it just takes a few minutes and it really kind of makes the eating process a little bit more enjoyable with your salmon. So you can do this in an oven um, or any which way you want to cook it really, but I'm going to do mine on the barbecue tonight and get a little smoke on there. I'm going to take some of this delicious basil pesto. Yum. Penne. All right, so I've got my salmon, pesto, tomatoes, and then I put some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of black pepper on top of that. All right, so if you guys have watched me cook anything, you know that I love the way that smoke makes things taste. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hickory chips on top of the coals. And that's just gonna get a little bit of hickory smoke going on here. All right, so here's my penne pasta ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of cream cheese and pesto. Definitely cooked, but just barely. Nice and juicy, super moist. All right. And in honor of this awesome harvest tonight, we are drinking a Kenai River brewing ale because uh, this fish came out of the Kenai River, so. All right, so from the river all the way to the table. <laughs> it is really good. Oh, it's so good. That's amazing. <sighs> so good. Thank you.